When iDimension 100 is plugged in for the first time, touchscreen calibration is necessary. Press the center of the four crosshairs to calibrate the touchscreen. When complete, the setup wizard will launch. Touch the play button to begin setup. Confirm you have read the terms and conditions, then touch the check mark. Using the up and down arrows, specify the appropriate time zone. Press the check mark to continue. Adjust the time and date as necessary. Press the check mark when complete. Select the base being used. In this segment, we will use the iDimensions built-in base. Ensure the base is clear of any objects, then press the check mark. Stand clear of the device while the countdown completes. It is important to keep the base clear and unobstructed so iDimension can set the zero height accurately. Press the check mark to continue. Identify the scan area, also known as the work zone. This is the area in which the unit looks for motion during dimensioning. Adjust the scan area by dragging each of the four touch points. For best performance, adjust the four points to cover the largest area possible that will be used for scanning items. Note that this area must also be kept clear of all other objects. Press the check mark to continue. Setup is complete. Press the check mark to begin using iDimension. Place the calibration object in the work zone to calculate its dimensions. It should read 14 by 12 by 3 inches, plus or minus 0.2 inches. To configure a smooth scale, iDimension must run the initial setup wizard. If the wizard is not already on screen, press the info button, then the setting button, and the setup wizard button. Confirm you wish to run the initial setup wizard. Set the time zone, then the time and date, making any adjustments if necessary. Select the base being used. In this segment, we will use a smooth top scale. Place the scale in the scan zone. Then press the check mark. Stand clear of the device while the countdown completes. It is important that only the scale is in the scan zone at this time so eye dimension can set zero height accurately. Press the check mark to continue. Identify the scan area, also known as the work zone. This is the area in which the unit looks for motion during dimensioning. Adjust the scan area by dragging each of the four touch points. For best performance, adjust the four points to cover the largest area possible that will be used for scanning items. Note that this area must also be kept clear of all other objects. Press the check mark to continue. Setup is complete. Press the check mark to begin using iDimension. Place the calibration object in the work zone to calculate its dimensions. It should read 14 by 12 by 3 inches plus or minus 0.2 inches.